a deadly day across the city. Police investigating three deadly shootings. The first happened this morning in Lawrence. We'll have more on that in just a few minutes. The most recent on the city's northeast side at 35th and Parker. That's where we find 24-Hour News 8's Eric Feldman live with more. Eric, good evening to you. Police are still out here looking for any sort of clues regarding the shooting that happened just before 3 o'clock where they found a man shot and killed just off the block of 35th and Parker, a man that IMPD tells us is in his 30s. We're still working to figure out what exactly happened to cause this shooting, but we did get some insight from a man who lives just beyond the crime tape that you see and saw the shooting actually unfold. He says he was in his bed. He says he then looked out his window to see a man about 100 feet away shooting down the street. He added that this man then ran to a car and he fell across the driver's seat. That's where this neighbor says that this man died. And he says then he heard a woman scream, and that's when he believes police were called to this scene. This neighbor who refused to go on camera says crime is a major issue over here. He moved here about five years ago, and he points to the other shooting that happened just a few blocks away around 11 o'clock. IMPD telling us a man in his 40s was shot, transported to Eskenazi, where he later died from his injuries. Police saying at this time that they don't believe that these two shootings are related to one another, but these investigations are in the very early stages. Still, two shootings just blocks from each other in broad daylight. Scary for some neighbors who said that their kids were home and heard everything unfold. We're going to be out here at 6 o'clock, hopefully with an update on the investigation. We're going to try and talk with some neighbors to see what else they heard and what else they might be able to tell you guys about what unfolded this afternoon. For now, I'm live on the east side. Eric Feldman, 24-Hour News 8. All right, Eric, we'll see you at 6. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, Lawrence police say someone shot and killed a man while he was trying to sell a drone this morning. Yeah, it happened in a neighborhood near 48th and Longworth. That's where we find 24-Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas. Tim, what are police telling you tonight? Well, detectives say a man was selling another man a drone on this block behind me when a third man walked up and shot the seller in the head. Police say that shooter is in jail because of a police officer in the right place at the right time. Lawrence police say an officer less than a block from this spot heard two shots just before 11 a.m. He responded, saw a man running, and called for backup. Deputy Chief Gary Woodruff says police arrested the shooter and found a gun he had ditched in a trash can. That's nothing unusual for Lawrence police. I mean, our officers are out there patrolling all the time and are known for, for uh, their uh, rapid response time. Wow. It's unbelievable. Sheila O'Donnell lives at the corner of 48th and Longworth. She describes it as a quiet neighborhood with a lot of kids. If someone gets shot and killed real close to home, yeah, it's very upsetting and scary. Detectives say they don't know why the man walked up and shot the seller. Woodruff calls the buyer a, quote, witness who's being interviewed. Police are still investigating how the buyer and seller arranged the sale and why they met here. That bullet could have went anywhere and hit anyone. Mm -hmm. And I'd hate to see that happen to my granddaughter, get shot by a stray bullet. Officers are reviewing security video and cameras are visible outside a home on the block. A tow truck pulled a van from the scene after investigators picked up a drone package from underneath the van. It would seem like it's another matter of, of, of senseless senseless violence, you know, in, in, in the greater Indianapolis area. You know, there are human lives that, that are affected here. Police haven't said whether the sale of the drone had anything to do with the shooting, but officers do say if you're selling something valuable, you could use some safe public places. Woodruff recommended the local government center parking lot. Live in Lawrence, I'm Tim McNicholas, 24-Hour News 8.